A quiet afternoon in Newport Beach turned into utter chaos when a chopper came crashing down into homes. As you can see from Sky 9, the chopper crashed into the side of one home after clipping several rooftops on the way down. Three people were killed in the crash and two more were taken to the hospital. The house that was directly hit by the chopper is on Egret Court. The homes are in a gated community less than a mile from John Wayne Airport. For more on this breaking news, we go now up to Stu Mandel, live in Sky 9 over the scene. Stu? Well, and Lena, we're looking at the wreckage out here of that R44 that crashed into this neighborhood, as you just mentioned. 41 Egress Court, that's the house that was actually hit by that aircraft when it came out of the sky in an unprepared crash type of situation. Three people have died here on scene, two people taken away to a local hospital. Earlier on, it was an army of firefighters and first responders out here on scene. Right now, though, the scene is basically just being secured and watched over in case of any kind of problems with the fuels that may still be on scene. They're waiting for the NTSB for that investigation to start to get under away. As you said, this aircraft was leaving John Wayne Airport about a mile away from here when it experienced some sort of problems that ended in this travesty that you see right here. What three people have passed away, two people taken to the hospital. Their condition's unknown right now. And again, we can tell you nobody in the house was injured, but they're still wondering about, they're still doing the assessment, trying to figure out exactly who was where when this aircraft came to the ground here in this air in this neighborhood the meaning basically what they're trying to do is they're figuring out if there were all the people that have passed away were inside that aircraft or perhaps there may have been somebody on the ground right now though the NTSB just get, starting to get here on scene this investigation will be going ongoing for some time right now though this is declared a crime scene not allowing anybody to come into the neighborhood the actual wreckage itself all these pieces very vital that they stay where they are so when the investigators get here they they can start that investigation, trying to figure out exactly what happened from the air, from Sky 9 this afternoon. We can kind of make out the path that this aircraft took on its fatal crash. You can see some damage on some of the rooftops out here. Some tiles are damaged, some tiles are broken, then the house next to it, actually the tail rotor and a hole in the rooftop. And then as we pan along, you can see the actual impact onto the, onto the concrete there and then sliding into that home. That's where that aircraft came to an end, that, uh, came to a rest. That's an R-44 apparently departing the uh, John Wayne Airport earlier this afternoon when it did, had whatever problems it had that brought it down to the ground out here. Live in Sky 9 over the Newport Beach area. I'm Stu Mandel. Back to you two in the studio. All right, Stu, thank you. And our Orange County reporter, Michelle Geely, is on the ground. She has more on what happened here. When we got there, one was conscious. Like he, was, uh, he was in pain, and, and we were able to... To take him out. As the chopper fell out of the sky, people in the neighborhood next to Newport Beach's Back Bay ran to help the five victims. Four of them trapped in the Robinson 44 helicopter, one hit on the ground. We were downstairs and suddenly it sounded like a big truck crashed into the front of the house. That was the kind of sound it was, but I couldn't tell for sure which side of the house it was on. So I ran up here to see what I could see, and, and you can see what I could see. It's, helicopter was there. The pilot crashed into the front of a home on Egret Court in Bayview Terrace around 1.45 this afternoon. John Wayne Airport is about a mile away. This man saw a few people moving in the wreckage. He ran to help too. Sure, I could see all the dust coming up and we went over, I went over there and the pilot got out by himself, I think, because he was there. But there's, there was three other people in it and we tried to pry him out, but we didn't want to touch them. We didn't take it, want to take a chance of hurting anybody. Again, we have three confirmed fatalities, two people injured in this helicopter crash into a home in Newport Beach. We have a reporter on the ground, Sky 9 above the scene. We will have more on this uh, crash as the story develops throughout the night here on KCAL 9.